recording now. Okay, Lisa. And who's this young man? This is Riley. Hello, Riley. <laughs> it's a doggy. A doggy. <laughs> All right. Lisa, introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Lisa. And this is Gabe. And my fiance and Noah. And he's three months old now. He's over three months and it's gone really quick. It's gone really quick. And just tell me, what was the most beneficial thing that you learnt from hypnobirthing? Uh, how to relax. <laughs> Not stress so much over little things. Yeah, what do you got there? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just believing in myself. Just tell us a little bit about yourself. What Before about? you had Noah, you've had. I had Caleb. Caleb. He's um, he'll be three in June. Yeah. Yep. Um, and that was a pretty stressful pregnancy. I was um, diagnosed with preeclampsia at the end of it and was induced 12 days before the due date and cut a long story short it ended in a emergency cesarean mm -hmm. and then 16 months later I had Rylan mm -hmm. and uh, that was just a really long labour and they gave me another cesarean because they called it failure to progress or something so yeah but a very different story with Noah. Yeah, um, well with Noah I uh, really didn't want to go through that again and I knew that this would probably be our last baby and my last pregnancy maybe so I just wanted to make the best of it and we learned about hypnobirthing and hired a private midwife and got to know Marilyn and all of that helped a lot and made a real difference. So uh, we were going for a home birth, but my blood pressure went a bit high at home, so we transferred to hospital, but after a long, long labour, we ended up having him the normal way. I had him the normal way, and he was born on his due date. <laughs> he came right on his due date. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you think hypnobirthing helped you make the right choices, especially in hospital? Yeah, it certainly did. <laughs> what was happening in hospital um, when you... We're about to have Noah. Just tell us a little bit about oh, that experience. It was a really long day of a lot of pressure, I guess. and From the hospital? From doctors mainly. Mm -hmm. um, there was probably about three doctors throughout the whole labour in hospital. And uh, they just came up with a lot of silly assumptions that maybe my pelvis is too small Ready. to deliver the baby. And that's why, he's, why my labour is taking too long and why he's not descending. And they scolded me a lot for taking a long time, for not progressing as quickly as they would have liked. Mm -hmm. And um, there was just a lot of pressure. But we just, we stuck to our guns and knew that the baby was okay. And never once did his heart rate drop or play up at all. So we both were fine. Yeah, we just told the doctors that we were just going to working through it. And, and we didn't really try and pay attention to what they were doing too much. And then, yeah, when they said we'll give you another two hours, um, we just sort of tried to, get a, you know, tried to take our own action. And, um, the baby came soon after that. And Did you find that hypnobirthing helped you both bond together and become stronger as a couple? I think so. Yeah. It probably taught us a lot more than we can actually put into words. Careful. But, um, although it didn't really... Dragging. <laughs> it didn't really work out that I um, only felt pressure with my contractions. Only a few times did I experience just firm pressure in my abdomen. But um, it did help me to stay in control. Mm -hmm. and to not just lose it at all, so uh, I think that helped a lot. I know you've written a beautiful birthing story for us, um, which I would really enjoy reading it shortly, but thank you very much for You're welcome. agreeing to this interview. No problem. Thank you, Deb. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Noah. Can I just zoom in? Noah Triton. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> He's a very happy baby.